Hello guys and girls, I'm Mike Trubesco from EO Studios and I'm also a member of Mix Review Crew and this time I wanted to discuss something really serious with you and the topic is outsource your weakness. Now, I think it's really important to understand that all of us are human beings and while we may definitely have some really strong points in our skill set, none of us may say that we have no weaknesses. That is just absolutely impossible because we're just humans. So when we're doing something in music, when we're uh, building bands or building our production business or making records, it is very important to understand that we should build this thing around our strengths, but never neglect our weaknesses. So, for example, if we try to do just basically everything in the band, which is uh, songwriting, recording, production, management, booking, PR, mastering, mixing, releasing, uh, chances are very high that such a jack of all trades will fail at least some of the aspects, or even more importantly, will not enjoy those aspects. Will it will take ages him or uh, herself to learn them, to craft them properly. Um, and this is not a healthy way to do things. So um, another really important thing here is the resource of time. As I said, uh, some things we just naturally lean towards to, for example, um, editing. Someone may really love editing, may love to sit in the room, uh, lights off, very dark, in front of their computer for hours, just aligning those drums, and there is nothing wrong with it. It's cool, it's cool. Um, but for the others, they really want to talk to people, they may enjoy doing PR, and spending time in the studio editing drums, they will waste their precious time on, and they will never enjoy it. So never neglect the resource of time. And this joy in the process, I think, is also very important just because, as again, um, we as musicians do not earn well enough in this industry. So at least let's make the music production process enjoyable. Let's have fun. Uh, and if we slave ourselves into something we don't enjoy, that's where those self-produced albums drag for years, just because you don't know how to do it and you try to learn it and it never happens, it never works. So in reality, to get the best for your time and for your enjoyment in this career, outsource. Outsource the weak points, focus on the strong points and outsource the weak. Don't do what you don't like, do what you like and find people around you that will do something that you don't like and they will like for you. Now, here are some thoughts on the ways, ways to outsource. Um, I've seen a lot of successful bands where their partners, uh, wives or girlfriends um, do management and PR. Um, I've also seen a lot of successful bands that just split responsibilities within the band equally, because some of the band members may be extroverted and would like to sell merch at the gigs, whereas the others will be introverted and would like to design the artwork or, you know, edit the drums. Um, finally, um, if everything else fails or you prefer to work with professionals, um, we are in 2018 the world borders are open just because of the internet and it's really easy to find people for hire online um, within your budget. Just because you live in a um, first world country doesn't mean you don't have to look up somewhere else. For example, if you want to do mastering, just find someone from Europe and usually they charge much less. Or if you want to do an artwork design, find someone from Asia and it will be even cheaper and will be just as good as anyone around you. So, guys and girls, here are my thoughts on outsourcing your weaknesses. Please let me know what you think. Any topic you want to discuss, comment, and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.